<laughs> All right, Coach Zaleski, aloha. How's it aloha. going, man? It's going great. How was the uh, the flight over for you guys here? It was good. You know, it's a five hour flight, but it was, it was good. Uh, coming out of Seattle, what was what was going on with you guys coming out of Seattle? You know, when you travel twenty guys, it's che cheaper tickets, so it made made more sense to go up there and fly out of. Because uh, we made this, it was kind of a late, you know, kind of figuring this thing out in Hawaii, so it was kind of get late. So when made the tickets, got the tickets late, so it was more it was cheaper to go out of uh, Seattle compared to Portland. All right, Aloha Open. Who, who thought of this, man? This is this is a great idea. It's crazy coming to Hawaii, you know, and, and giving your guys roughly, you know, a week in this in season to come to a place like this and train. Ch total change of scenery. Whose idea was this? Well, I think it was you know Jay, Jay Robinson and, and Troy, and I, I mean, we talked about it a little bit. I mean, but but when I mean, when I first went to Minnesota with Jay, we have, there was actually a tournament over here. It was eight teams over here at that time. So, you know, I think Jay that had you know been over here a couple of times before, so we always knew that uh, maybe you know just something different. You know, something different than the scuffle, the Midlands. You know, so it was just something different to come here and uh, you know wrestle with some, with some quality competition, but then train here for three or four days. You know, looking at the Southern scuffle, you guys had it was a mixed bag of results for you guys last year. But, you know, I think Meeks might have tweaked his knee. I think Desi might have tweaked his knee. You had guys that got hurt at the, you know, the Southern Scuffle. What's different about this compared to Midlands and the Southern Scuffle? You bring those two up. They're great holiday tournaments. They're deep. What's so much different about this compared to those? Well, you're going to get three or four quality matches, maybe four, you know. I mean, there you, you know, you have two, it's a two-day tournament. So this is one day, one day competition but you know for us you know we go to las vegas we go to reno and you know, for us it's only we felt it just was you know going to three turn was just, was what too much so it's just hey something like this you cut back on the competition but then you get the training so it's a trade-off you get the better training this way do you guys get any free time while they're here on the island of oahu yeah i all have some time to do some things but you know the main thing is hey we're gonna get the training in the morning and then you, you, you can do, you know hey, that's why that's what you're here for too you know the guys get to look around and and see see hawaii see 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 waikiki beach a little bit and uh you know have some fun but also you know train hard do you think we're gonna see this thing grow you know like say minnesota wins the national title you guys are a top 10 team you think teams are gonna be like hey man those guys got it figured out do you think we're gonna see this thing continue to grow well i think i'm saying it's good i mean i don't know if you come every year you know it's 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 it's, it's, it's expensive but i mean i think it's something that i think if you get a few teams that, that uh, want to come over and maybe some different teams every year it'd be a great thing to have you're actually training with the other teams after the competition What's that like? And did you have to get like special waivers or anything from the NCAA? To yeah, do I think we had a special waiver like through USA Wrestling. But but uh, yeah, the thing to think about that is you know we we always you know used to go in high school you go back and remember training with different different teams in high school. I think you you know, get different partners, get different looks for for a while. I think it's it's good to get those different looks in, in practice. Uh, Alex Alder, he's in a loaded weight. Brusser's in a loaded weight. When you see two guys like that specifically, what do you want to get out of guys like Bresser? What do you want to get out of Elder? You know, and Delgado. Uh, what do you want to get out of guys at the 157 and the 125 you brought? Well, because you, you get to see some good competition, so you get to this kind of middle of the year, you get to see where you're at still, you know. So you, you need to you need that wrestle that competition because you might not get it here later on, and, and you know, you never, you know, you never know when you get a dual meet. It's what what kind of what kind of competition you're going to get. So when you get a tournament setting like this, you know, you're going to get a couple good matches. You got to be ready for it. Are well, we going to see Jim Zaleski? Parasailing, surfing, cliff diving. Are we gonna see any of that? Or are you just what are you gonna do? <laughs> Whatever my hip allows me. <laughs> do you will do some stuff if you can, huh? Yeah, yeah, I'll do some stuff. But uh, you know, uh, yeah, we're here for you know for the training first, the wrestling first, and then whatever we can do after that, fit in, we'll do. All right, do so you got anything else for me? No, I got my lay at the airport though. <laughs> Mahalo. Mahalo.